Hey guys, Paul Things here, and welcome back to another awesome Blender tutorial. In this tutorial, we'll be making Rusting Gun from Naruto. So let's get started. Start this tutorial by deleting everything on our viewport and adding a spear. So shift A, mesh, UV spear. And go to edit mode by tapping tab and subdivide this spear. And go to object data properties and click the plus icon and select assign. And go back to object mode and go to modifiers and add a modifier called vertex A weight edit. And select the vertex group as group and under follow so set the type to custom curve and bring this point all the way down and the left one all the way up under influence click on new and click this icon and set the type to clouds and we'll add another modifier called mask modifier and keep the threshold at 0.5 and turn on smooth and we'll add another modifier called smooth modifier and we'll repeat that 15 times now we will add another modifier called simple deform modifier and set the axis to z axis and the angle to 360 degree now we will add an empty object so shift a empty plain axis and select the rusting gun and under simple deform modifier set the origin to empty so now when you select the empty and move it in z axis the rusting gun will rotate now we will duplicate the rusting gun three times so select the rusting gun shift d s to scale and will rotate in z axis so it doesn't seem symmetrical we'll do that again so now we got our rusting gun by the way if you are wondering how to scale the empty object just go and right click on the empty object and or click on adjust empty display size and you can make the empty bigger now when you move the empty in z axis the rusting will rotate now in order to animate the rusting gun go to output properties and set the frame rate to 60 fps now make sure the timeline is set at fps 1 and select the empty object and press i and l now move the timeline all the way to 250 fps and press n so it you can see a transform menu and over the z axis type 1000 and right click on the z axis and click on insert keyframe now you press play the rusting gun will rotate now we will add another spear in the middle of the rusting gun so it seems like an O to the rusting gun so shift A, mesh, UV spear and we'll scale this down a bit. Now we will texture this rusting gun. So make sure you are in rendered mode and go to render properties and turn on bloom and make sure your the render engine is in EV. Select the layer 3, the outermost one and go to material properties and tap on new and over the surface select emission and change the color to blue and set the strength to 20 so you get this uh, blooming effect now in order to copy this material uh, click on this arrow and uh, click on copy material and we'll put the same material to layer 1 select the layer 1 and press new and the arrow paste material we'll do the same to the O 
new paste material and we'll set the layer 2 as a gloss so surface gloss and we'll keep it as blue and we have to decrease the strength of an O because you can't see that layers clearly so I'm going to keep it at 10 or 50 so now when you hit the space bar you get this effect now go to world properties set the strength to 0 the world will become a black Now we will add a camera, shift A, camera and now find the best view on your viewport and go to view, align view, align active camera to view. So now the camera will be aligned to our viewport. In order to render this Rasengan as a video file, go to output properties, select the file format as MPEG video and encoding as MPEG4. Now select your file destination. I'm gonna keep it at desktop and go ahead and click this render button and render animation. Now your racing gun will be rendered as a video. If you like this video, then give it a thumbs up and hit that red subscribe button so you won't miss our next uploads. Thank you for watching.